What's up, Brad? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, homies and homettes. My name is T Red, aka Big Rojo, aka Poppy Rojo, if she nasty, aka your baby daddy, best friend, next door neighbor, the nigga who Netflix password you be using, old plug. Got a new job. Podcast hosting. Make some noise for I. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's tips at 60. Tips at, tips at, tips at. Tipsy Five Law, the ex narco. Hello. Hello. What's your boy Arsenio Hall? <laughs> Give it up for the dog pound. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> now let's see how long right. you hold it. Nah, this, this shit had to be fake. No, nah, that one fat home was a talent. That's 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 yeah, a talent. Holding that shit, right? Holding this shit like a motherfucker. That was his thing. Arsenio. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. You gotta take some breaths, bro. We back though, Green Box Podcast, episode number 19. Green Box. Sure. And I'm running out of outfits for real, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I know outfits. Seen you said, let's shoot another episode. I'm Shit. not. Huh? I'm not. Let's go. What you got? I got plenty more. What, what that is? Uh, it's a uh, Michael Jordan high school oh, jersey. Lady. Yeah, okay. Didn't know that. Yeah, Michael Jordan high school jersey, sir. Didn't know Didn't that. Know that. that. The throwback. So that's a, uh, that's a high school that cut him in ninth grade? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking fools. That probably made the Jordan. Movie. LeBron didn't get cut in ninth grade, but anyway, he said a lot of. Wow, that was a shot. <laughs> I got plenty. Right up, right? In the dog. Let's get it started, though. What's going on, fellas? I got plenty. It's too much going on right now, man. Like always in this world, man. The mm -hmm. NFL suspended them guys, man, for gambling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I don't know too much about it. They know about that word? What they were gambling on? Like, do you feel Do you feel like it's. it's, uh, it's they have a right to do that. They wouldn't. Some of them weren't gambling on the game. It's a on conflict football. of interest, though. If if they gambling on yeah on football on football, but they, it's so, definitely if they yeah if they gambling on football, that's, that's definitely what it wasn't or, though. Or the boxing the wasn't. They just don't want you uh, gambling period probably gambling in the facilities or or on the buses or on the planes or what we doing anywhere the around the NFL. NFL. Exactly. The NFL. Okay. All right, so check it out. This is five NFL players suspended for violating. The league's gambling policy, including the Lions' 20, uh, 2022 first-round pick. Mm -hmm. The NFL has made it very clear that gambling on NFL games will not be tolerated, and five players have found out the hard way on Friday as the NFL announced that Stanley Berry Hill III, Jamison Williams, Quintez Cephas, C.J. Moore, and Shaka Tony have all been suspended for gambling. The Lions were hit the hardest by the suspensions, with four players being banned while Tony plays for the Commanders. The most notable name on the list is Williams Wright, who was a fire-ass receiver they got in a draft last year. Damn. Although each player is now suspended, the suspensions aren't quite created equally. Williams and Barry Hill have each only – they only suspended for six games, and both are eligible to participate in off-season and preseason activities, including preseason games. For those two, their suspensions won't take effect until after the final roster is cut down in August. And every you know they can come back sometime in late October. But, uh, they keep you pushing though. Uh, the Clean Box Podcast, man, is brought to you by nobody once again. Um, any sponsors? In this? Yeah, got? we got sponsors, Hit man. We got JJ's fencing. JJ's fencing. We got Pretty Fly Studios. Sacks full. We got definitely got Sack full. Yeah, man. Whatever. We got yours truly, man. Tips at tips What you got? Tell them. LLC, man. Tips at LLC. We got design and clothes. We got, you know, we got a little urban fashion going on. But I'm <laughs> trying to dip. I'm trying to dip and dab and dip and little, like, you know, I'm still trying to put it together. Like, what else I want to do? But I like collaborating with other folks now. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, just come out with, like, different type of, you know, like, I give you an image of how I want it, and then you just put it on your clothes. Or you come to me and say... I want my what? What do you got for me? And then I can put it together. Like people, what what's ever trending right now? Yeah, so I try to stay above the trend. Mm. Okay, well, a little bit. Well, let's uh, let's talk about some fellas. Let's talk about double standards. Mm. You feel me? Double standards. Double standard. It's something simple. It ain't ain't nothing serious. Something lighthearted. Mm -hmm. My boy, you see him on TV, right? Yeah. What's the name? I can't pronounce the last name. Will Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz. I like his comedy. <laughs> You do. A little edgy. You know what I'm saying? A little, a little edgy. He tapped toes on that line. That yeah. race. Yeah. 
But why is it cool when the black people, the black comedian make the joke? You know what I'm saying about white people? We laugh when a white dude make a joke, a black joke. Niggas get a little, oh my god. And I he, always he's racist. wanted that. Yeah, I always wanted that though. Bro. I don't. You, I don't either, but, but I know what you're talking yeah, about. And it is that is a standard and when you, when it comes to like comedy and stuff. So to the point a lot of white comics be scared to kinda of like yeah, uh, venture cool. down their territory. So yeah, me either. Like I look as long as you ain't saying nigga, I don't give a damn about you. Know you so I'm gonna play this joke from Andrew. You know Andrew really, he be with Charlemagne, the white boy be with Charlemagne all the time. He a comedian. Andrew, I can't pronounce his last name ever, but he'll funny dude. Schultz. Him, you know him. You see yeah, 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 yeah. Take a joke out. Blackface is wrong. Can I do it? We agree? Blackface is wrong. Can I do it? Blackface is wrong. Well, I have to ask the blackfaces. I can't ask the fucking rest of y'all. Blackface is wrong. It's racist. You cannot do it. Under no circumstances, cannot do it. Then you see them Navy SEALs commercials. You're like, all right, well, kind of, sometimes you could do it. <laughs> the whole Navy SEALs commercial is like, look how cool blackface is on a helicopter. <laughs> Look how cool blackface is on a boat! Blackface in the water, they can swim! I don't know if they say that. I don't know if they say that. That's I, I might have added that part. I might have added that part. I'm just saying, life or death situation has changed the stakes. Let's say, for example, me and you, we're going on a mission to save America. The mission takes place at 1 a.m. That is an important piece of the information on the call sheet. You have your complexion. I have the complexion of an iPhone flashlight. <laughs> if you don't give me blackface, we're fucking dead. I'm a disco ball in the desert. They're gonna see us from a mile away. It's headshots for the both of us. You wanna see her again? You gotta pay me the fuck up, bro. Full thing. You don't have to do the lips and the tap shoes. That's a little bit much, but you gotta pay me up. You gotta pay me the fuck up. You're not gonna let me go in the... That nigga said lips and the tap shoes. Just like I'm not gonna let you smile. There's certain things. <laughs> Damn. Hey, look. <laughs> he tap toed on that motherfucker. I mean, just like, you know, like with, with any joke, you know, it's all, you know, like, okay, he, he wasn't trying to, like, like tell the joke to hurt nobody's feelings. Or, like, you could tell, like, sometimes, like, where somebody like intention is yeah, in a joke. Me you dig what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You feel what I mean? Like, it wasn't a mean hearted joke where he was just. Like, okay, this motherfucker is just being racist. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to hide it behind comedy. He just, like, it's really the irony in the situation that really makes it all to you yeah. for that particular joke. Because, hell yeah, like, in the statue, it, when you see him, because when you see that, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's something I never even really thought about. But, right, yeah, for like a for like a white person, yeah, that would be a correct time for you to be blackface. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no, if you're I in the military and you got to do a fucking <laughs> night mission, yeah. I, I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That would be one of the smartest times for you to ever wear some damn... Yeah, but... Every time I turn around, I always thought that shit because, man, if I was a white comedian, boy, I'd be getting it to him. Yeah. Black joke at the black joke. Look yeah. that was black. A lot of black comedians do. A yeah, lot. All of them do it. Every time. Yeah. It's like they start off. Yeah. Look at all the white people. Yeah. The, the white people in the crowd looking all awkward yeah. and shit. Yeah. And yeah. Everybody yeah. laughing and pointing yeah. out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, if a white dude did that to a black dude, nigga, D.L. Hughley, Dr. Umar, everybody been in the other world. Nigga, no, nah, white comedians so do that. I mean, I ain't never seen it. Please. You don't watch enough comedians. People do that. Comedians do that. He the first, I feel like comedians first do that. I watch Russell yeah. Peters. He's not even white. He's like, but Russell Peters destroys who's ever in his crowd. It don't matter what yeah. race you are. He gonna ask you where the fuck you from. He gonna talk about, like, <laughs> comedians do that. Yeah. People do that. I need you more. Do you watch a lot of stand-up comedy? Nah, I mean, nah. Okay, I, mean, I, I do. Know. I probably don't watch enough because I, I watch seen, I, I ain't a lot of stand-up comedy. I, 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 I watch a lot of stand-up. I've never seen a white Comedians do that. Have the guts to do it's, that. It's allowed. It's allowed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But see, what you say, but from what you're saying though, see, it's still not a lot of a lot of white comedians that are like ballsy enough to just like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to like go there. You know what yeah. I'm saying. It's yeah. it's still only a few that feel comfortable going in that pocket, and you know what I'm saying, yeah. like, and going there. But you, know, you got some people though. You might be angry to press that button. Speaking of white people, <laughs> speaking of white people, Thomas Rob, you know who he is. Mm-mm. He passed away at the age of 77 years old. Thomas Rob? Yeah, he's yeah. just the founder of the KKK. Oh, what? He's just the founder, founder of the KKK. The founder? He the founder. Well, good for him. And guess what? We don't give a fuck! <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't. Good for him. We don't. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he died. It's just a random fact. But, um, 
Biggest gang in America. Biggest gang in America. We ain't gonna get on now. It's a whole damn different episode. Trying to see what else I got. I got this uh this song I found in my gym. Uh, sorry, it's called Smiley. Will. Tell me what I think about this. It's Will Smith now. Maybe the 2003 era. He, he in his bag. Ooh, it's ludicrous. I've never heard this song a day in my life. It came out real. And it's crazy that you said, who are you with, Ludacris? Because <laughs> it sounds like Ludacris. Guess who wrote it? Ludacris. Ludacris wrote that Stop shit. Stop it. He wrote that shit for him. He rapping it like Ludacris. Man, it sounds just like Ludacris. Yeah, he rapped. Oh, see? Look, boy, I'm telling you what music, boy, I know. Talking about, talking about he, <laughs> I know them kids. back in his bag. <laughs> he I know them what pins. bag? The trash bag? <laughs> that shit was trash, Will. Yeah. I know them pins, though. Great actor. We love this summertime. You can, you can never. Uh, it reminds me of the LL Cool J joint. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that, that, sounds like, that, that sounds like a ludicrous song, though. Yeah, you <laughs> run that shit like a motherfucker. Beat and all. The way he rhyming it and everything. That's why, like, you could tell there was a reference track involved. This he was like, yeah. Like, listen, that's cool. It's the groove of side drama. Might get my best tight strap to my chest, like. That shit was trash though, bro. Oh. I, I I never heard that shit before. You know, Fifty Cent wrote it down. LL Cool J uh, Paradise. Yeah, I seen that shit on the internet the other day. You knew that? Mm -mm. You knew that? Sound like it? I yeah. mean, now in hindsight, yeah, yeah. Paradise, hold on, what's up? I'll take you to paradise. LL Cool J Paradise. I'm gonna give you all nice. my um, love. He didn't say he, he wrote the hook. Oh, he wrote the hook. Yeah, I figured that. I figured he ain't writing. Yeah, he wrote. Words. He wrote what A. Marie was saying. He didn't write L. Cool J's verse. Mm. <laughs> Let's not be putting out misinformation. Yeah. yeah, but and that's what I'm saying. If you play that hook, it sounds you know you know fifty good for them kind of songs anyway. Gonna give you love. It sounds like some fifty type shit. You know what I'm saying? Put a hole in the nigga.